Earthlings, Fireball Steve back with a dictionary of meteorite terms. For those of you who saw my television series Meteorite Men, each episode spent a lot of time explaining differences in terminology. Similar words like meteors, meteoroids, meteorites, and meteor showers will be tossed around and they all mean radically different things. Learn the lexicon and the pieces of the meteorite puzzle will fall into place very quickly. So let's get going. When a rock from space survives to the ground, it's called a meteorite. But before that, it can have other names. In space, rocks are called meteoroids if they are less than three meters across and micro meteoroids if they are small grain of sand sized pieces. Scientists call them asteroids if they're more than three meters across and then planetoids or planets if they're really huge. Comets are muddy chunks of ice that may have hit the earth from time to time. Satellites are man-made objects that can re-enter the atmosphere and burn up, often appearing like they might be a meteorite. Meteors are the light phenomenon that one sees in the sky. Meteor showers are the annual predicted events produced by comets, where the Earth will typically sweep through a previous path of a comet where tiny specks hit our atmosphere. These can be impressive, but they do not produce rocks on the ground. Sonic booms are shock waves caused by something physical, such as meteoroids, airplanes, or spacecraft moving faster than the speed of sound, 767 miles per hour. Fireballs and bolides are terms for large meteors. Dark flight is the three to seven minute length of time it takes meteoroids to fall through the air after they slow down and burn out. A crater is the hole made by an asteroid fragment hitting the ground. The nature of the mass coming to an abrupt halt causes an explosive release of energy that blows out rock and soil in all directions. Crater forming impacts only happen on Earth once every 500 years or so. So odds are real good that what you saw in the sky was not that big. Impact pits are holes in the ground or whatever the space rock hit, such as pavement or a house or a car, where a small meteorite punches into the ground or man-made item Usually, an impact pit is only a few inches deep, but in rare cases, it can be several meters deep. So apart from the giant crater forming events, rocks do not hit the ground on fire. So looking for burning grass or big holes in the ground is very likely a waste of time. In fact, meteorites are usually very cold inside, and oftentimes newly arrived meteorites will have frost forming on them. Most of the time, a meteoroid will slow down to the point where it will hit and bounce a few inches. Being hit by a small meteorite would probably be on par with the pain of being hit by a golf ball. Cameras can capture fireballs. Non-stationary cameras such as camcorders, phone video cameras, and car dash cams. Also, stationary cameras such as security videos, weather cameras, and all sky cameras. A strewn field is a term used for an area where meteorites were literally strewn across a field. Typically, they'll fall in a narrow strip from a mile and a half wide up to around 15 miles long. Sometimes just one rock survives, the fireball, and as such, there isn't a strewn field, but simply a single impact point. Doppler radar, while mostly used for weather, it can sometimes pick up falling meteorites. GOES, spelled G-O-E-S, is the new satellite system that detects lightning flashes and can also pick up and record fireballs. 
Rare earth magnets are the super strong magnets that most meteorites will be attracted to. There are three main types of meteorites, irons, stonies, and stony irons. Irons are all metal. They are made of an alloy of mostly iron and nickel. A very small percentage of falls will be irons. Stones are the most common type. While they usually have some metal in them, around 10 to 20%, enough to attract a magnet. A handful, maybe 4% of stony meteorites have no metal in them. So it's good to study meteorites and what they can look like instead of solely relying on the magnet test. Stony meteorites make up 97% of falls. Stony irons are about half metal and half stone, and somewhere under 1% of falls are of this rare type. Fusion crust is the burnt exterior of a meteorite, either dark black or dark gray on freshly fallen meteorites. Oriented meteorites are meteorites that don't tumble during their fireball portion of light, so they get shaped usually in a nose cone, shield, or bullet shape. Flow lines are melted and rehardened lines formed in the fusion crust. A rollover lip is a term for when the crust builds up on the trailing edge of the rock, and one can see that feature. Metal flecks are the iron nickel portion, usually about 10% of the composition of stony meteorites. Chondrites are stone meteorites that have chondrules or small round spheres. Achondrites are stone meteorites that don't have chondrules. Lunar meteorites are rocks that were blasted off the moon by an impacting event sometime in the past. Martian meteorites are rocks that were blasted off the surface of Mars by a previous impacting event. The next video in our Crash Course episodes will help you know if what you saw in the sky may have produced rocks on the ground. Be sure to like this video if it has helped you. Subscribe if you haven't yet and check out the next video. And remember, Earthlings, anyone can find a meteorite, even you.